What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial for networking. In today's video, we're going to learn how to send mails with Python. So we're going to build a script that automates the process of sending a mail. So we're going to learn how to send ordinary text with a Python script via mail. We're going to learn how to manipulate the header. And we're also going to learn how to add attachments to mails. So let us get right into it. Now let's get started with the code. The first thing we need to do is we need to import the SMTP library of Python. SMTP is the protocol that we're going to use to send mails because what we need to do here is we need to take our script and log into an existing mailing account. So make sure you have one. Um, you log into an existing mailing account and then you use the SMTP protocol with your Python script uh, in order to send mails from that account to other accounts. So you cannot just send mails directly from the Python script you use the Python script to log into your existing mail account and then use the SMTP protocol to send mails from there. Um, so this is what we're going to do. And for this, we need to define a server. The server is defined by SMTP lib .smtp, And here you have to specify the SMTP server and a port. And the port we're going to use is 25 for SMTP. And the SMTP server address is usually something that you can find out by Googling. So you just type in SMTP server Gmail, SMTP server Yahoo, whatever provider you're using. Uh, so SMTP.gmail.com, for example, is the one for Google. It's a very um, basic format. Actually, you always write SMTP. Most of the time, it's just going to be dot whatever your provider's domain is. Um, in my case, I'm using a uh, an Austrian uh, provider here where I'm hosting my website, which is worldforyou.com. So SMTP.worldforyou.com is the... Uh, address of my SMTP server here, or of the SMTP server of my provider. And once we have that, we're just going to start it uh, to start the whole uh, service here by calling the EHLO command. So this is the function you need to call to start the whole process. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to log into the account. So you have your SMTP server at Gmail or whatever it is. And then you just log into your account. And to do that, of course, you need the information first, you need the email and the password. And I would never recommend saving the password clear text in your um, script because what you essentially need to do is you need to say server.login and then you know you have your mail here, mail at mail.com, whatever, and then your password here, password123, whatever it is. Uh, you can do it like that if you want. If you're just using the script with a crappy mail account that you don't need just for experimentation, you can do it like that. But I would not recommend it. What you should usually do is you should save your, uh, your password encrypted in a text file then load that text file, decrypt it, and then use that password. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to save the clear text password, uh, or actually save the clear text password already in a text file. And I'm going to read it here so that you, as a uh, viewer, are not able to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say with open, I'm going to open a text file stream uh, with open password.txt in reading mode as F and we're going to say password equals f dot read. So now I have the password that I saved in this password txt file. I now have it in the script and I'm going to say server dot login. And now you have to specify your mail. So whatever, maybe yours is alex at gmail.com, whatever it is. In my case, I created a separate email for this tutorial. So mail testing at neural dot com. And the password is the one we just loaded. So this is how you log into your server, into the SMTP server, into your mail account. And now we can start creating the message. Now, before we can start creating the mail message, what we need to do is we need to import some additional libraries because what we're going to do is we're going to create a message, a mail consisting of multiple parts of attachments, of messages, of headers. Uh, and for this, we need to import some additional libraries. So let's start with from email import encoders, which is something that we're going to need later on in this video, not uh, not yet. And also, let's say import not frozen set from email, import um, mime text, which is the ordinary text that we're going to use. Um, actually, from email dot mime dot text import mime text, then from email dot mime dot base, we're going to import mime base which is what we're going to use for the attachment. And then for the whole thing, we're going to use mime.multipart import mime multipart. 
Um, that's it. And now we can start creating the message using these libraries here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define the message as a MIME multi-part and we're going to define the header and the header is essentially consisting of uh, a from to and a subject. So we're going to say message equals or actually message from equals because message can be treated like a dictionary. We can just say, okay, message from equals and here we're going to say neural nine or your name, whatever you want. You can put here um, all kind of creative stuff and then we can say two and here you usually just specify the target email. In my case, I'm going to use a 10 minute mail, but I'm not going to use the 10 minute mail domain because the 10 minute mail domain, uh, for some reason is not able to receive attachments. I tried at least when I was experimenting with my script, I couldn't receive attachments there. So I'm going to use a German spam mail provider, which is providing 10 minute mails. Uh, and the domain is called spammel.de. So I'm going to just say mail testing at spammel, or actually this is probably not that that intelligent because my mail is already mail testing. Let's say uh, test mails at spammel.de. You can use a different one. You can also use your existing email, a real email. I'm just going to use a spam mail for this video. Then we're also going to say subject equals um, whatever you want it to be, just a test. This is essentially what you're going to see once you receive the mail in the subject. And uh, that's essentially it. Now you can specify a text for your message. And I usually do this in a file. So we're going to create a new text file here. We're going to say message.txt. And here we're going to just write our mail message. Hello world. This is a mail sent with Python. Uh, subscribe to neural nine. Always got to do this as we're used to it, uh, to it already from the other videos. Kind regards uh, neural nine. There you go. Then you have the message here. And what you do then is you just load the message the same way you loaded the password if you loaded it. So with open message dot txt in reading mode s f, we're going to say message equals f dot read. That's essentially it. And this is something that you just need to attach to the message object here. So message dot attach which is not the attachment, we're going to add the attachment later on. So we are not adding, oh, sorry, not the text.txt. You're not adding the um, txt file to the mail, you're adding it as a text. And we're later on also going to add an image as an attachment. So what you need to do now is you need to attach my text. And you're just going to pass the message here. And you're going to attach it as plain text. So this is how you add a header and a text to your message object. Now, one more thing that we want to do before we send the actual message is you want to attach an image to it. So in this case, I downloaded a royalty free image from Pixabay. Uh, you can also use Google images if you're just using it for your um, personal experimentation, you're not going to get sued for that. Uh, so I just picked this coding.jpg file from Pixabay because I'm doing a video and I shouldn't be using copyrighted images here. Um, however, you get this image, put it into the same directory, and then you specify the file name, file name, in this case, coding.jpg, or essentially the file path. If it's somewhere else, you can also specify the whole path. And then we're going to open up attachment equals open. We're just going to open a file stream of this file name. And now we're going to open it in reading binary. So we're not going or reading bytes. We're not going to open it up in reading text mode, but in reading byte mode because we're using, um, we're working with image data here, not with text data anymore. Uh, so the next thing is we're going to create a payload object. So we're going to say P equals, and now we're going to use this MIME base object. So we're going to say MIME base. And here we're just going to start a so called, don't ask me what it stands for. It's a application and then it's called an OCTET <clears throat> stream which is essentially the, scene, uh, the stream that we're going to use to uh, process this image data here. And then we're going to set the payload of this payload to attachment to the file stream dot 
read or actually like that attachment dot read i'm not sure if we even need those parentheses here i don't think so so attachment dot read and this is what you set as the payload you just read the content of this attachment with reading byte modes uh, and you set the payload now the next thing you want to do is you're now going to use the encoders so we're going to say encoders encode base 64 so we're going to encode the image data that we just read and that we set as a payload uh, we're going to encode p and then we're going to add a header to p so we're going to say p dot add header content disposition and we're going to use an f string here to say application uh, or attachment sorry attachment semicolon and then file name and now of course we add the file name here which is just file name and this is how you add the attachment of course now the payload the attachment itself has to be attached to the message so we're going to say p, uh, message dot attach yeah message dot attach p and that's how you add the actual payload to the message now the last thing that we need to do is we need to say text equals message dot um, as string so we finally get the whole thing as a string and this string can then be sent by the server so we're going to say server dot send mail and we're going to send it from mail testing at neural 9.com to our target what was it test mails test mails dot at spammel.de and we're going to send the message which is the text now this is the whole script and we're now going to test it so now what I did is I created a spam mail on spammel.de it's German don't get confused by that but you can also use any other spam mail provider or you can just use a real mail as a target um, in this case I just didn't want to use or show any of my personal emails so I used this spam, uh, test mails at spammel.de and now what we're going to do is we're going to run our script so we're going to say run and if we didn't make any mistakes this should now send the email without any errors wow we didn't get an exception I'm surprised to be honest and now let's wait for it and see if we get something here and you get it here just a test hello world this is a mail sent with Python subscribe to neural nine kind regards to neural nine you can also see that uh, Avast or Avast uh, was uh, checking this mail so if you don't want this message to appear just if you're using the same antivirus software just turn it off and you can also see that there is an attachment in here coding.jpg and if I download it you can see that it's the exact image that we wanted to send so it worked the script worked you have neural nine at an uh, unknown I don't know if we have the a mail header here somewhere as well uh, but if you're using a normal mail account this should appear as neural nine as uh, or your mail not neural nine as in this case mail testing at neural nine.com uh, in this case it says neural nine at unknown I don't know why it does that but essentially it works the subject is here the text is here as a normal text and then, then we also have the attachment so it worked perfectly fine and that's basically it so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button, leaving some comments in the comment section down below, and also subscribing to this channel if you haven't done it yet to see more future videos for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.